Hello class, greetings. So in this video lecture, we're, I'm going to discuss the assessment of real property. Okay, so let's begin uh, our discussion. According to Melissa Stegelus, review is essential to evaluation, which is essential to progress. Our first topic is the guiding principle, the classification of real property for assessment purposes. Number one, for purposes of assessment, the real property shall be classified as residential, agricultural, commercial, industrial, mineral, timberland, and other special properties. Then real property shall be classified, uh, valued, and also assessed on the basis of its actual use, regardless of where it is located and whomever owns it and whoever uses the property. Actual use, uh, it refers to the purpose for which the property is principally or predominantly ut utilized by the person in possession of the property. So the word or the term actual use is the determining factor in applying the appropriate uh, percentage of level of assessment to the market value of the property computed on the basis of the schedule of base market values for land or the schedule of base unit construction cost for buildings and improvements and should not be construed as a criterion for the classifications and valuation of real property. So, the following class are some are an example of the assessment levels. The assessment levels to be applied to the market value of real property to determine its assessed value, and this should be it should be uh, fixed by the ordinance of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan, Sangguniang Pangungsod, or Sangguniang Bayan of a municipality within uh, metropolitan Manila area at the rate not exceeding to the following. So for the lands, uh, for example, if it belongs to the classification of a residential, the assessment level is at 20%. If it is agricultural, that is 40%. Commercial is 50%. Industrial is also 50%. Mineral is also 50% and timberland is, it belongs to 20%. And on the buildings and other structures for residential. So here, uh, 175,000 pesos over and not over 300,000 pesos. The percentage, uh, okay, so 175,000 pesos the assessment level is 0%. So from 175,000 pesos up to 300,000 pesos and above, that is around 10%. Over 300,000 pesos and not over 500,000 pesos, that is 20%. And 500,000 pesos and not over 750,000 pesos, that is 25%. So if you can notice class, no? it also increases the, the assessment level based on its fair market value. So to our maximum at uh, 10 million pesos, that is 60% of its assessment level. So the maximum assessment levels class, the local government will be the one to provide for the maximum assessment levels for all types of property. Hence, there is a need for the Sangguniang Panlalawigan, Sangguniang Panglungsod, or Sangguniang Bayan of a municipality within Metro Manila area to enact an ordinance fixing the assessment levels for the local government. The two major considerations in these policy decisions are the amount of revenue the local government needs to generate from real property taxes. 
for its operations and delivery of public service and the level of tax burden sharing that the LGU would like to impose on its constituents. The assessment levels for the different classes of real property may be increased or decreased at rates to be fixed by ordinance of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan, Sangguniang Pangusod, or Sangguniang Bayan of a municipality within the Metro Manila area. Provided, however, that in no case shall such increase or decrease of the assessment levels be made effective in between general revision of assessment periods. The local assessor is in the best position to help or to guide the Sangunia in fixing the assessment levels since he is the most uh, knowledgeable on the effects of setting the assessment at a certain level. Thus, in the preparation of a new schedule of the fair market values for purposes of a general revision of real property assessments, the assessor may also conduct studies to, that would show the revenue, impact, and tax burden of various assessment levels to enable the members of the Sangunian to arrive at a more informed decision. So it is being encouraged to conduct first study for its impact. If there will be a uh, uh, there will be some changes or if there will be a uh, some some uh, to impose a what call this the assessment level the percentage in every municipality because that is very important it if it will affect the 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 taxes that will be that will be paid by the, our tax uh, payers so it should be balanced uh, favorable to our government and as well as to our tax payers the assessment of property subject to back taxes the real property declared for the first time, shall be assessed for the period during which it would have been liable, but in no case for more than 10 years prior to the date of initial assessment. Provided, however, that such taxes shall be uh, computed on the basis of the applicable schedule of values enforced during the corresponding period provided further that the, tax, the total tax liability shall include the current year in addition to the 10 years back taxes. If such taxes are paid on or before the end of the quarter, the next following the date the notice of assessment was received by the owner or his representative, no interest for what we call delinquency shall be imposed. Otherwise, such taxes shall be subject to an interest at the rate of 2% per month or a fraction thereof until such taxes are fully paid. Notice of new or revised assessments. When real property is assessed for the first time, or when an existing assessment is increased or decreased. The provincial, the city, or municipal assessor shall, within the 30 days given written notice of such new or revised assessment to the person in whose name the property is declared. The notice may be delivered personally or by registered mail or through the assistance of the Pulung Barangay in the last known address of the person to be served. Although the real property tax is levied against the real property, it is the owner who pays the tax the, before the tax liability is fixed. The property owner is entitled to a hearing on the assessment of the property. And hearing uh, constitute part of the due process. 
not strictly judicial, no? it's uh, in taxation. If the owner is not satisfied with the action of the assessor in the assessment of the property, the said owner can resort to the appealing process, which provide in this manual, in our discussion. If he does not appeal within the said period, he will be deprived of his right to be heard by the Board of Assessment Appeals. So that's why for the upper our uh, property owners who may encounter this uh, uh, said scenario, you should uh, appeal within the, the given period so that uh, you can be able to exercise your right for your property. Next is the effect of appeals on the payment of real property tax. So the appeal on assessments of real property made under the provision of the local government codes and shall in no case suspend the collection of the corresponding uh, realty taxes on the property involved as assessed by the provincial or city assessor without prejudice or subsequent adjustment depending upon the final outcome of the appeal. Okay, so our next topic is the 